Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. It is human nature to fight the ravages of time and stay and look young for as long as we can. From the ancient Egyptians to Queen Elizabeth I to just about 80% of everything on YouTube, beauty regimens are essential parts of everyday life. Like some form of torture, men and women go through a lot of treatments being pricked, poked, stitched, and moisturized in order to keep that healthy, youthful glow. And most of the times, many people even go overboard with these treatments that makes their glow look almost supernatural. So in this video, we're gonna count down the different ways people can get creative when it comes to their beauty regimen. So here are the 10 most disgustingly gross beauty treatments. For number 10, we're gonna ease our way in with something a little mild, radiation therapy. When the medical and scientific uses of radiation was first discovered in the early 20th century, it was only a matter of time that enterprising individuals would market it for profit in almost any product that they can produce, and that includes makeup, creams, and ointments. Radioactive substances such as radium were virtually put into almost every kind of beauty product imaginable and it caught on rather popularly. I mean who could argue against the almost literal glow that a night cream infused with radioactive material brings to the face, right? And these beauty products really worked of course until the effects of the radiation seeps into the body and causing things like hair loss and sores. In severe cases people exposed to high concentrations of radioactive material even developed incurable cancers. Number nine, lead, mercury, and arsenic. We all know people put strange things in beauty products depending on what the trend of the day is. These days it is mostly organic, non-GMO products that were not tested on animals. But back in the day, when people were more oblivious to the side effects of the kind of chemicals they put into their bodies, they would put more interesting things in their beauty products. Some of these include chemicals like lead and arsenic, which are poisonous substances that can be lethal when used by humans. Even crazier is the use of another extremely poisonous element, mercury, or what they called back then quicksilver. These chemicals and elements have different effects on the human body prior to their lethal effects. White lead, for example, is used as a whitening agent to make the face a paler up until the effects kick in, which include vomiting, seizures, and death. Arsenic, on the other hand, was believed to have properties to clear the face of blemishes such as freckles. Product like Dr. James P. Campbell's Safe Arsenic Complex Wafers promises users clear complexions after regular use. Of course, regular use eventually led to vomiting, blood, diarrhea, convulsions, and you guessed it, even death. And although we now have federal health regulations that have taken products like the one mentioned above permanently off the shelves, there are still products out there, especially whitening products, that claims to be able to lighten the complexion like magic. Unfortunately, these products contain small amounts of mercury that can attack the kidney and have you hooked up to a dialysis machine for the rest of your life. Number eight, stem cell facial. Scientific advances have proven that stem cells and stem cell treatments are known to protect people from many fatal diseases as well as treating a number of them. Cosmetic science, of course, will not allow itself to be left behind and found a different kind of use for stem cells to keep people looking young. Generally, stem cells can be harvested from different tissues and organs such as bone marrow or the umbilical cord. In this case, the stem cells used for this particular kind of facial are harvested from the body by light Suction. They are then injected into the face to repair wrinkles and give you that youthful glow. This trend is steadily growing in popularity across the globe. Now, whether or not they have two-for-one deals on liposuction and then using that same thing for your facials, I, I don't dare guess. And now moving on to number seven, vampire facelift. Elizabeth Bathory was an Eastern European countess that lived during the 15th or 16th century. History calls her the blood countess and for good reason. She was obsessed with staying young and beautiful, she would take young women, especially virgins, she would kill them, drain them of their blood, and use the blood to fill up a bathtub where she would soak in there for hours believing that it had rejuvenating properties that can keep her young, if not actually immortal. The vampire facial or vampire facelift may or may not be loosely based on Bathory's belief, but it is a real procedure. The process is pretty simple. Blood is drawn out of a person's arm and the platelets are extracted from it, after which these platelets are then injected into that person's face to prevent wrinkles. It pretty much works like Botox, but you know, with blood. Number six, bird poop facial. This is not an entirely new procedure, but it is quickly getting attention. I mean, who knew that those stains left on our windshields could be so useful? Using fecal matter from birds is a practice done by Japanese geishas. In order to get the iconic white tint on their makeup, they often use bird poop on their faces. But not just any bird poop. Geishas specifically use nightingale poop, believing that it 
it has properties that reduce fine lines, wrinkles, and leave a healthy glow to the complexion. These days, there are dozens of places where people can try this procedure out in a controlled and sanitized environment. Number five, snail facials. Similar to vampire facials, snail facials are becoming a popular alternative to conventional facials. Set to fight any signs of aging, snail mucus is applied to the face using live snails. It is not anything that is entirely new. Snails have been used for centuries to treat inflammations. However, in a different kind of treatment, these slow and steady guys are plopped onto people's faces to not only combat physical signs of aging, but also to reduce scars, acne, and in some claims, stretch marks. Although there is no scientific information to back up the claims, you would just have to experience it for yourself. For those of you who don't really like slimy things crawling all over your face, the alternative comes in the form of products infused with the gel-like mucus. Number four, leech therapy. In the days before modern medicine, doctors employed the use of live leeches to flush out toxins and diseases from people. During the spread of the Black Plague in Europe, so-called plague doctors would prescribe a handful of leeches placed on different parts of the body, believing that they would suck out the plague from the body. Unfortunately for them, that did not happen. Today, leeches are still being used in medical procedures, but under the supervision of a licensed medical professional. Like their snail counterparts, the cosmetic procedure with leeches involves placing live leeches onto the face. As these invertebrates suck the blood from your face, they release anticoagulating substances that are known to remove toxins from the blood. Number three, bowl semen hair conditioner. The beauty product market is, is oversaturated with creams and conditioners that promise the same thing, skin renewal, combat aging, youthful glow, and more. And in the sea of products, you're gonna need something to stand out and give something a little different by going the extra mile, an extra mile that includes bowl semen, I guess. The inventor of the product stands by its benefits, claiming that the high amount of protein found in the semen leaves your hair looking wonderfully soft and thick. And it comes as no surprise that there are also procedures that involves slathering the face with this bodily fluid as it is rumored to help remove acne and as always prevent aging. Number two, urine facial. Yes, that does exist. The urine facial, I guess, is another disturbing way to keep that radiant glow. While studies are yet to be made about the real benefits of having, you know, pee splashed all over your face or mixed with creams and ointments, the circulating claim is that it has properties that are excellent in fighting skin conditions such as psoriasis and acne. Of course, these are just rumors. But a lesser known fact is that drinking urine can cure if not prevent certain diseases like lupus and multiple sclerosis. So I don't know, you can either splash your face with urine or drink it. Your choice. Finally, number one, and this is truly horrific, the tapeworm diet. Atkins, South Beach, low carb, high protein, vegan, gluten free, etc, etc. For the past few decades, diet fads have come and gone. Some people swear by it and some tend to jump from one program to another trying to find the right one that will miraculously let them shed their pounds in an instant. After all, losing weight is one of the ultimate beauty treatments out there and people are obsessed with it. A lot of times people try many different things things like juice cleanses, but somehow the pounds just keep coming back because food is just so good and going to the gym, that it's not as good. So unfortunately, one of the most effective and most horrific, and you should never do this way of dieting, is inducing a live tapeworm into your digestive tract. These parasites are voracious eaters and will eat a portion of the food you swallow along with the nutrients. And instead of seeing your hips grow, the tapeworm does it for you. In the past, people have been known to sell and purchase pills that claim to contain live tapeworms in them. However, there are recent and more extreme cases where people actually got themselves infected with the parasite, which lets them drastically lose weight as well as their appetites alongside some pain, nausea, malnutrition, convulsion, and of course, even death. So there you go. Something to think about on your next visit to the dermatologist. Which of these beauty remedies would you ever consider doing? I mean, I, I might try the whole snail thing just because I've always wondered what it was like to have Slimer lick you. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you later.